I've come on holiday to Cornwall to Porth Town with Winnie the dog and my husband Sam and I thought I'd bring you along and show you what we get up to and show you the art I make as well. So this is the first morning of the holiday and most holidays we fall into a really similar routine which is I wake up early so I woke up at six today and then I do two to three hours of art until Sam gets up and then we go out for the day so we normally go walking or go out to a town and then we'll get back half three or four. I'll do one or two hours more of making art and then yeah we'll have the evening and it really works for us because like it's time separate and time together and I get to do my art because when I'm in a beautiful place I just want to make art so I'd find it really hard to come on holiday and not create. So this morning I've come down to the beach and I'm going to do some sketchbook work. You may have seen my video a couple of weeks ago where I used brush-o powder and since then I've been kind of obsessed with using it. I think it's because you can't really use it carefully. It goes everywhere no matter how careful you are, especially if you're outside and it's windy. And yeah, I've just really loved using it, like the really bright colours you can get and how uncontrollable it is really appeals to me. Sitting and making art on the beach on this first morning felt like finally I've arrived. It had been such a struggle leaving the house because we'd been so busy with work. I brought this sketchbook with me that I hadn't used since June 2023, the last time I went away with Sam, which shows how infrequently I used to sketch. This painting really reminds me of Ellis O'Connor's work, the artist I shared my last residency with. I feel like her dramatic landscapes have rubbed off me a little bit. We stayed in a really lovely self catering cottage called the Old Piggery and it was a really nice place to spend the evenings and to return to after long walks. And speaking of long walks, on the first day we walked to Portreath, which is a little village south of Porth Town where we were staying. Here's a disused mine. You'll notice quite a few in this video as there's quite a number on this part of the coast. So this first day was the sunniest day we had. It was so lovely. It felt really spring-like. The walk to Portreath was hard going though. It was a lot of up and down, a lot of steps, but it was really beautiful, like seeing the yellow gorse against the blue sea. And living in quite a landlocked part of the UK in Gloucestershire, it's always a bit of a novelty to see the ocean. It took a couple of hours to walk the six kilometres to Portreath. It was a really sweet coastal village, although it felt like a town to me, but that's because the village I grew up in in Devon was so small, everything feels like a town. We then headed back to Porth Town, but not before going into the corner shop and getting Winnie some chicken because she's one of these dogs that grazes throughout the day and she hadn't eaten her breakfast that morning. So yeah, I thought she needs a bit of energy to get back. When we got back to the old piggery, I had some scones, cream first, because I'm from Devon. I think in Cornwall they do jam first, but that's just not right. And then I started working on my advent calendar for this year. So I started working on it back in December, but I thought it would be a good opportunity to start the block while I was on holiday. As this year it's seaside themed, that's exclusive. I haven't announced that anyway yet. We then headed down to the beach to watch the sunset, and I collected some sea beet for dinner. It's kind of like spinach, it's really delicious. But as always, do your own research when it comes to foraging. So we're now on the second day of the holiday and we headed down to the beach because it was sunny in the morning and then I found a feather on the beach and I decided I want to paint with that feather so I got the brush o inks out and I started painting with the feather and it was really fun. It was so liberating and it just felt good to experiment and be playful. When you make a living from your art it's really easy to lose that playful side of your work but it's been really nice getting back to it on this trip. I've just uploaded the YouTube short where I show the whole process of this so if you want to see that do check that out. I got absolutely covered in brush o ink that was the downside of using a feather and here I am looking really awkward in front of the camera. We then walked up the cliff it had got a bit overcast by this point and we had scones it was freezing and windy but you gotta love a scone wherever it is. My parents actually visited on this day because it was my dad's birthday and we walked to this monument which I believe is a relic of another mine and here I am working on the advent calendar block again after they left. We then headed to Chapel Porth Beach which is north of Porth Town and it's very close. It's a really sweet little beach. We saw these caves and normally I stay away from danger but for some reason I wanted to go in and it was pretty magical but obviously not totally safe. And yeah, that was the end of day two. And the next day was Sam's birthday and we have a family tradition which is we collect flowers from the garden and lay them in the place setting of whoever's birthday it is. 
think it's my favorite family tradition of ours. It's just kind of magic coming down in the morning to that. I made a cooked breakfast and then we headed off to Perranporth Beach. This was a lovely big beach and then we headed into the town to grab a coffee before heading up the cliffs to do a coastal walk. I explored these steps that headed down to the ocean and I feel that you can tell from the way I'm walking. I'm not a fan of heights and I'm pretty scared of the ocean. I mean the way I'm taking these steps one at a time because I can't actually face just taking a normal step. I don't know why I'm so scared of the ocean, I just think it's so big and powerful. I'm not keen on boats, I'm not keen on planes. I just like dry land, I like to be safe. I'm basically not a particularly adventurous person. Anyway, here we are walking along the cliff. Here's Sam doing a very slow, smooth pan. He has so much more of a steadier hand than I do. We spotted a seal in the ocean which is always exciting and then we headed back along the coastal path so we could drive to our next destination of the day which was St Agnes. I just looked up and St Agnes is a village, again it felt like a town to me but I'm used to a village with just one shop. It was a great place to visit with some cafes, pubs, shops and bakeries. The walk down to the beach was really lovely, you walked past these houses and then through a little wooded area and along the road. I kind of love a beach that you have to walk through like that. We then stumbled across some artist studios which was a really lovely surprise. And then we continued our walk down to the beach. The beach is lovely but it is quite small. There is a cafe on the beach which apparently is really nice but it was closed when we went. Winnie was tired so she enjoyed lying on the beach and we watched the surfers. We saw a lot of surfers on our trip actually. Cornwall's well known for surfing and it was really enjoyable watching them. We grabbed really nice bagels from a cafe called The Sorting Office. They did a really nice milkshake as well. And then we headed back to Porth Tower and enjoyed brownies on the beach while I painted. And then I did some more on my advent block. You can see here how slow the progress is. On the fourth day of our holiday, we headed to Gwythian Beach, which is my favourite beach we went to on this trip. It was so big and Winnie really loved running along the sand and the sun was shining and it was just such a nice morning. And then I spotted a mussel shell, which you'll see I'll use later. I loved this clip of Winnie. I got confused as to why she had two shadows and then Sam pointed out one's a reflection and one's a shadow and I felt a bit silly. My favourite part of this beach was the rock pools. There's something kind of magical about a rock pool. It's like a mini ocean. I just love exploring them. And the rock formations were really beautiful too. It was just a really interesting place to explore. It looked really dramatic how parts of the cliffs had come away or been eroded and were just kind of sat in the middle of the beach. After spending a relaxed morning on Gwythian Beach, we decided to head to St Ives. I hadn't been to St Ives in years, I have really fond memories of going there during my art foundation year with my class. I'd say St Ives is one of the busier towns in Cornwall because it is just so beautiful, it's really arty and there's loads to see. We walked through the town which was really busy and then we headed to the beach where I did a painting. I used the mussel shell I found on Gwythian Beach to hold my water for some watercolour painting. I'm grateful that Sam was very patient on this holiday as I kept wanting to stop and sketch. And here's Winnie wearing the mussel shell as a hat which I think suits her pretty well. As we walked along we noticed these sparrows having a bath and they were just so sweet just had to stop and watch them. There are a few beaches in St Ives and yeah, they're all really lovely. This one is, I think, Porthmere? Is that how you say it? Porthmere? I think so. And then we went in search of some art and some studios. Well, I went in search and Sam followed. Here are Sloop Studios. Then we stopped for a quick lunch on the beach and then, yeah, some more art. St Ives has such a rich history of artists. As we had Winnie the dog with us, we didn't go to Tate St Ives or the Barbara Hepworth Museum, but we did see a lot of art, as lots of the studios and galleries allowed dogs. It was great to be able to wander into the artist's studios and watch the artists at work. Here's artist Hanny Moraz making one of her mixed media pieces. And after seeing all that art, I felt really inspired. I really wanted to paint, so we headed back to the beach and I got my watercolours out. And then when I was faced with the houses in front of me, I realised how out of practice I am with drawing houses and buildings and it was slightly intimidating. So after realising my limits with painting, I decided to concentrate on just a couple of boats. It was really tricky to get the angles right, especially as they were bobbing around in the water. But it's all good practice and I'm trying not to be too hard on myself as I've only just got back into sketching and painting again. We then enjoyed an ice cream in the sun. I think this was something like white chocolate and fudge 
but I'm not sure. I can't remember. We then headed across to Mausel for the evening, which is on the other coast, but it's where my parents were staying, so we went and had dinner with them. Here we are visiting a gallery where Winnie was so tired she fell asleep in my arms. Mausel was a really sweet place to wander around. It was quite steep and really higgledy piggledy, and we found this really cool looking cat. The next morning, I woke up and did some work on the advent block before heading down to the beach. I don't know how many days into the holiday we're in now, but it feels like we've been here for ages, and then it also feels like we're going too soon. I think we've got two, yeah, two full days left, including today. And um, yeah, I don't want to leave. But it's a sunny morning, so I've come down to the beach with Winnie to do um, a quick painting. Um, and then I'm gonna go get Sam, and then we're gonna walk to St. Agnes, I think, which is a long way from here. Um, but it's gonna be a really nice coastal walk, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, it's been such a lovely holiday. I think because work was so busy before we left that the thought of going back to normal life feels painful because it was, it was um, yeah, quite difficult before we left for holiday. But um, I think holiday is a good time to reassess and to kind of regain a bit of balance on normal life. The walk to St Agnes felt so much easier than the walk to Port Truth on the first day. It was a kilometre longer but it was less up and down and maybe our legs had just got used to walking by this point in the holiday. So we walked past Chapel Port, the beach that we'd visited earlier in the week and then onto this mine which I believe is called Wheel Coats. Anyway, it's really dramatic having such a big building right on the coastline. We stopped at St Agnes Head to have a rest and to admire the view, and Winnie took this opportunity to have a nap on my lap. This was definitely the first holiday where we really started to notice that she's an old dog now and she needs a little bit more rest than she used to. I feel like in the future, in a couple of years, I can see us carrying her around in some kind of backpack. After our seven kilometre walk, we arrived in St Agnes. As I said, it didn't feel too hard, not too up and down for a coastal walk. And then I did a little painting on the beach. We had a drink in a cafe, and then we headed back along the coastal path to Porth Town. It was really nice to visit St Agnes again, as it was one of our favorite places we discovered on this holiday. Once we got back to the cottage, Sam decided to go for like, I think it was an eight kilometer run or something. Something crazy after we've just done a whole day of walking and I went back to working on my advent calendar block. We then headed down to Porth Town Beach as we could tell it was gonna be a really beautiful sunset this evening. We live in a valley, so we don't often get to see the sunset like this. So we made sure to make the most of it on our holiday. Looking back now, I think the colors in this sunset influenced the colors I chose to paint with the next day. It was a really beautiful evening and we just enjoyed wandering around the beach. Although Winnie didn't really enjoy walking over the pebbles that much on Porth Town Beach. And then we headed up the cliff as a last little walk of the day. So the next day was our last day, which was really sad. I got up early, headed down to the beach and did some painting. On this last morning, I arranged to meet up with fellow printmaker and collage artist Jay Kasky. So Jay and I actually collaborated on a project last year. We sent each other print scraps in the post and then used a mixture of our own prints and each other's prints to create collaboration collages and then we released a collection. But this morning was the first time that we'd ever actually met in real life. I started this new sketchbook that bookbinder Todd Patterson made me with one of my own print proofs on the front. It's a bit bigger than the sketchbooks I'd been using, which I found really liberating, and I think this is my favourite sketch I made while I was away. Here's a sketch that Jay did of me and Winnie. After we finished sketching, we went and found the tidal pool on Porth Town Beach. On this last day, me and Sam headed to Trilicic Gardens, which is owned by the National Trust. It had started off as such a grey day, but the sun came out once we arrived, and we went on such a lovely woodland walk along the estuary. It really felt like spring, and I was really grateful that this last day was so bright and sunny. There's a car ferry you can get across the estuary here as well, which is really cool. And yeah, it was just a really varied walk with lots to see. We then headed back up to the National Trust Gardens. Sam went to the cafe to get a scone, of course, and some coffee. And then I explored the gardens because dogs aren't allowed in the National Trust Gardens. I was surprised at this time of year to see so many beautiful flowers out. And yeah, it was really lovely gardens to explore. There was also a second-hand bookshop, there was a gift shop, there was some plants for sale, and there was also a really lovely gallery as well. As it was still sunny when we got back to Porth Town, we headed to the beach for an ice cream. This ice cream is honestly the best ice cream I've ever had in the UK. It's mini egg flavour, 
I also had pistachio ice cream from them as well and it is just delicious. Despite the fact it was sunny, it was really cold. The wind was really icy. Sam took Winnie on a walk and then I did some painting. Here you can see the sunset colours from yesterday working their way into my work again. I found this particular painting quite hard to know when to finish. It didn't feel like it had strong enough tones to me. I really don't know what I'm doing with painting and I'm learning each time. Although, because I don't really know what I'm learning, it's quite a slow process. Like, I know when something's not right, but I don't quite know why. Anyway, this is it as it is now. I haven't finished it. I might go back to it later. So here's me failing at an experiment. So I pressed this bit of seaweed a year ago when I was last in Cornwall, and I thought it'd be fun to make an artwork with it. I don't really know what I thought was going to happen here, but it turned into quite a mess. So I ended up just covering it in brush or ink and then printing it, which was quite successful, but yeah, my first experiment was a complete disaster. Anyway, I didn't want to waste that page, so I just painted over it. I used to do one or two sketches a year, and I had no confidence in my ability, but sketching multiple times a day has really helped me. If a few go wrong, it doesn't matter. I'll just try again tomorrow. On this last evening, we enjoyed fish and chips on the beach, which was really lovely as the sun went down, but as I said, it was really, really cold. As well as sketching and working on my advent calendar block, I also did quite a few collages on this holiday. I didn't really film it because it was a bit dark, in the cottage and it didn't look that great but yeah here's some of the collages I created. We've come to the end of our time here in Porth Town and we're leaving today which is really sad. I'm kind of glad it's not full sunshine today though and it was hailing in the night and it is quite cold so yeah I always hate leaving holiday when it's like really bright and lovely. I'm really keen to come back to this part of Cornwall again. We did the lizard last year which is the other coast and really loved it. I feel like the lizard's a little bit more wild the roads are a bit narrower and it's a bit quieter. Here's a little bit more tourist friendly, I'd say, depending on what kind of tourist you are. But yeah, I love both the lizard and here. We've had such a good time. I've really enjoyed painting and sketching and working on my advent calendar block. That is so far from finished. I, I feel so daunted by how much more I have to do with that whole process. But yeah, really lovely holiday. Thank you for watching and I'm going to be going away again relatively soon so there'll be another kind of travel arty residency video coming up. Uh, you're right Wynne. So yeah thanks for watching. I am still planning to do a video with the like phone chest mount so that I'm recording as I print but yeah I just need to find a bit of time to actually do that and I've got a print release coming up in by the time you watch this about 10 days so it's going to be a busy time but yeah it's all the artwork from the Malvach residency that I was on in January February so anyway yeah I'll be back soon